What's cracking guys? Omar Esau here back with another video. In this video today we're diving once again into developing a strong aesthetic back. Something that I've been really focusing on for 2017. I asked you guys on the Facebook page what type of tip video did you want to see and you guys have voted for a back tip video. This is going to feature my boy Alberto Nunez. The format's going to look a little bit different because this actually comes from our recently released bodybuilding program called Bodybuilding Beyond the Basics with Alberto Nunez. There is a sale going on. The discount code is year one. You get 40% off. It ends tonight. Already, I think almost a thousand people have gotten the program. Feedback has been positive. Anyways, this is one of the videos from that program. Uh, this is an underrated movement. This is actually something I've waited a while to talk about because I have been doing it since meeting Alberto and I do contribute some of my more recent back development to doing this variation of the pull down but I was talking primarily before about those other two cornerstones, the pull-ups and also doing just a lot of stiff leg delts in order to develop the spinal erectors. This movement is fantastic for those that A, really, really, really don't get a lot of stimulation from doing traditional compound back movements. So you do pull-ups, I do pull-ups, I get great back stimulation. That might not be you. I get the same thing when it comes to the bench press. I get a lot of pectoral development from doing the bench press. That's not everyone. If you struggle just activating your lats, you don't know how to utilize them, other muscles take over and your back is lagging behind, this is a perfect movement. It's also a great movement for those of us, like myself, where we found our maybe primary movement, so I really like pull-ups, but you can't just do one movement to grow an area. Remember, your back is actually far more complicated than the front. So even if you already have developed a solid back, this is a fantastic addition. Anyways, if you like this video, if you want to see more bodybuilding content featuring Alberto, you guys seem to really like the series featuring him, make sure to like the damn video and leave a comment below what area you want to see next. Without further ado, I'll let Alberto do the rest of the talking. All right, so the vertical pull of choice today is going to be the single arm pull down. And the reason we're gonna go with this is because most people will find their lats right away when it comes to this one. Um, typically, the way most people do a pull down, it's gonna be dual arm, and the most common bar is going to be uh, a straight bar, right? The issue with this is that it's harder to control your shoulders, okay? It, which leads to a harder time leading with your back. Um, there's also an underhand variation, but the issue with the underhand variation is that sometimes the biceps tend to take over, which is an issue with just about any rowing or pulling movement, all right? However, from a neutral position, you get the best of both worlds. You're able to lead with your lats a bit easier, and then also because you're a little bit more tucked in, you have slightly better control over your shoulders, which again will lead to better contractions uh, through the targeted muscle groups, which in this case is going to be primarily your lats. You will get some help from the mid-back, upper back. However, this is primarily a lat movement with some aid from the biceps. All right, so have a seat. Let's take a ride. Okay. So much like the vertical pushing, uh, posture can be an issue here. So um, we're, we're definitely going to have a little bit of action going on here in our, our uh, thoracic spine, kind of our mid-back region. What you don't want to do is start off like all the way like that. So you're already shortening up the lat. It's not going to get as much action. So again, just a little bit, mostly to get yourself out of the way, okay? Um, so now that we're set up nice and, yeah, that's about where we should be, go ahead and grab that handle. Um, and because we are going with one arm at a time, this is how you know that neutral is right. It's kind of sort of what your shoulder does on its own, right? You know, if you pull this down, most people aren't going to want to pull it with an overhand grip or an underhand grip. They kind of end up here, okay? So we're going to use this grip. We're going to try for neutral. It ends up being a neutral anyways. And then here's the big thing. So this is the, the biggest cue for any sort of rowing or pulling movement 
is that you're going to lead with your scapula. So you're going to break with your scapula. So just like with a squat, for example, whether it's high bar or low bar, the hips start the movement to some extent. Um, you're going to start with this. Like that's just how it is. So lead with this, and then you finish with your arm. Okay. And once you get really good at this, you're actually able to almost pull it the whole way, almost only using these muscles exclusively in this stuff right here. Okay, if you're having a hard time pulling with your arm, I actually recommend that newbie pullers, or if it's just not clicking, um, you, start, you stop just short of full extension, all right? You might lift a little bit less weight, but you'll be using the right muscle groups. So those are three cues that will help you get the most out of this movement, okay? Good posture, okay? We don't want too much uh, action going on here in our lower back. Um, we want to lead, break with our scapula, and if need be, um, don't feel the need to fully lock out. Maybe 95% of the way up is, is fine. This is what you don't want to do. Uh, so let's start off with that basically turning a vertical uh, pull into a horizontal pull, all right? So we've seen this before, dude's using way too much weight, okay? So not only is he starting at a poor angle, it gets worse as he goes, okay? So that's, that's the first one. Uh, the second one is going to be breaking with everything but this, so starting with the arm, all right? And then finally, and this is where you will really confirm that it is your lat actually pulling, is the eccentric, minding the eccentric. There is work for you during the eccentric portion of the lift. There is stimulus there. Like, don't, don't let that go. Like, literally, don't let it go. Um, you should, on the eccentric, feel the lat tugging. Uh, and that's where you do build up a lot of your connection because you are so much stronger in the eccentric you're actually able to stop and smell the roses, feel the contraction. So mind that eccentric. Don't just let it run away from you. vertical pull. We went with a single arm neutral-ish grip pull down and I love this movement um, first because it allows people to go overhead uh, in a, a slightly more comfortable manner. One of the reasons why we're, we're doing overhead work single with, with one hand at a time if, if we can. Um, but then also you have an easier time finding your lat. I think a lot of you guys will, will, will notice that right away. But let's just say it's not working for you, uh, you don't have a comfortable place to perform these. Uh, I think a standard neutral grip pull down will, will be just, just fine. So again, you want something where you're in a neutral grip, about shoulder width um, in terms of your distance between your hands. If it's a little bit tighter, that's fine. Most attachments tend to be. Uh, but this is going to be our second choice. So the neutral grip pull down will be our second choice. Um, let's just say that one's not clicking for you. I would then say it's okay to go with either a underhand grip on a straight bar, again about shoulder width, or an overhand, the most commonly used um, vertical pull down variation. Either one of those will do so long as you apply the cues that we went over for the single arm pull down. Lead with the scapula, uh, and, and again, mind the eccentric and, and all, that, all that good stuff in terms of torso positioning we went over. So again, single arm pull down, if for some reason that one just doesn't work for you, I would go with a neutral grip dual arm pull down or you can just use an underhand grip, an overhand grip on a straight bar, but just make sure that you're at about shoulder width or perhaps um, a little bit wider, but Shoulder width is where I would recommend you start and then from there expand. But either one of those variations work just fine so long as you remember the cues we went over.
Well, guys, that is all the time we have. My thanks to Alberto for doing this video. If you like the video, I'm looking right at you. Like the damn video and let us know what you want to see next from Alberto. He also gave a couple alternatives at the end you saw there. Just because, once again, like powerlifting, it's not quite a one-size-fits-all approach. This is a fantastic exercise guaranteed for most of you to really help out. But if you're still struggling, try one of those variations and let us know how it goes for you. And then lastly, like I said before, that Kaizen bodybuilding program, Bodybuilding Beyond the Basics. It's a full in-depth program. I think it's almost 100 pages. There's six different programs that actually come with it. Over a dozen in-depth tutorial videos. Uh, full program overview. The whole damn thing, if you've been wanting a size, a pure size, a bodybuilding program, this is the program for you. Discount code year one, 40% off. Sale ends tonight at midnight. That's all the time we have. I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace. Eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables, eat your fucking vegetables.